that's just one of the things that I really, really want to do, you know, in this life before it's too late. It's just to make one song or an EP, like a three song EP with Chino. And I know he's a busy, busy, busy guy. He's a father. He's got a wife. I'm a father too. That'll be awesome. That's one of one of the things I I really want to do in this life, man. Good morning, y'all. It's Demise Music and Entertainment here. It's uh, 8 in the morning, Northern California. A few years back, right, I met Chino Moreno from Deftones, one of the uh, coolest bands, one of my favorite bands, to come out of the mid-90s, the early 2000s, and even till this day. So Deftones is like a fine wine, man. Like, the the more time that goes by, the more dense their music gets, the better it gets, the more experimental it gets. Just like wine, the you know, the finer it ages, the more the more flavors that come out and, and it just tastes better. Just like Deftones. They you know, their stuff in the past was really good and their stuff now is really, really good too. It's different. It's so like uh you know, they didn't lose their touch, they didn't sell out, they didn't fucking uh, completely change at all. What I mean is they evolved. That's what you want to do as an artist, you want to evolve. Like my rap, my hip-hop stuff, I've definitely evolved from the first album. And my stuff now is more, uh, it's my voice changed even, you know what I mean? It's more raspy now. So it's always about evolving. Don't stay stagnant, don't stay still. Evolve. So, I met Chino Moreno in San Francisco, okay? And when I met Chino, I had my cousin's guitar and I said, Hey, you know, I have a song that I wrote for you that I wanted to, uh, what's it called? Have you guest feature on it. And Chino is one of the busiest musicians out there, man. Like, there's a lot of busy musicians, but come on, this guy was in Deftones, touring around the world. Then with his childhood friends, the Crosses, his neighborhood friends, Team Sleep. He did a song with Seven Dust back in the day. He's been on a countless number of features all over the place. Palms, I saw Palms, that's another side project where he plays guitar and he sings. And look, Deftones, man, they just went all around the freaking world, I guess, right? Like, I just saw him too in Concord, Concord Pavilion in California. And uh, his voice, man, his voice has gotten better. His voice has gotten better. That's what I mean, like a fine wine. You know, how does one's... Me and my cousin, who've been listening to Deftones forever, was just like, dude, I was blown away by Chino's fucking voice. His vocal performance was just very, very good. Hitting notes, singing better, screaming. Um, a lot of energy, a lot of energy. So that's why they're one of my favorite bands of all time. Deftones is always gonna be in my top top three favorite bands for sure. After I met Chino and I, I uh, played the guitar, he started singing, right? He started singing and he was uh, randomly freestyle singing to me and looking at me and shit and he was just like, you know, vibing out. And then after that, you know, I felt like, uh, man, I was like fucking on heaven, man. I was, I was in heaven. But after that, he's just like, hey, man, that's that's really cool. Is that all the song does on the guitar? I was like, no, there's other parts to it, but I don't want to get into that because I know you're busy. You had to get back on the tour bus. And this is when he was doing his Crosses tour with Sean Lopez of Crosses. And then uh, he got back in and he's like, you can make 17 songs out of that one riff. And I was like, oh shit, what is this guy talking about? And then so he's like, hey, so we got a picture. Okay, really crappy picture. I was so sad because I didn't want to be annoying. I didn't want to be like, take one. Oh shit, can we take another one with Flash? I was just like, fuck, I'll just edit it. So there's a picture of me and Chino. Then after that, he left, right? So then my dad, my father, he he went to, uh, so we all grew up in San Jose. Deftones, Chino, and all them, most of them, they grew up in Sacramento. That's two hours away. It's, it's about a two-hour drive from where we live. So, basically, Chino's wife now, I think her name is Risa, my dad said that he grew up with Risa's brother. Okay? Now, my dad said, hey, I know you're like the biggest fucking Chino Moreno fan, the biggest Deftones fucking fanatic. 
I have a connection with you and uh, for you and Chino. I was like, are you serious? I didn't want to get too excited because if you get too excited and it doesn't work out, you get really bummed out. And then next thing you know, my dad's like, send me some demos of uh, Scala and send me some stuff. And I just wrote like a, a package, man. I just I put my CD in there, my Demise rap CD. Not necessarily like, hey, listen to this. This is, you know, it was more of just to show how serious I am because it's, it has a barcode on the back. It has the album cover. It's professional. You know what I mean? Like you can scan that shit at a store. And um, and everything's just professionally mixed and mastered. And you're, you're holding it. And it's like, you know, like one of these guys, right? So that was, you know, I even wrote that in there. I said, hey, Chino, this is my first full length album. This is to show how dedicated I am. It's all self-produced. To give them an idea, I don't care if you listen to it or if you use it as a uh, as a coaster for his fucking coffee or beer or whatever. But I just wanted to get that message to Chino Moreno that I'm very serious. I put a 14 full-length rap album out, and then I sent him a demo of the Scala band that I'm in with, uh, you know that with a little sticker in there of us and then a nice little note of the song names and then saying like hey I hope you like this I think this is more up your alley in a way right because it's just rock drums singing guitar it's like the the good rock stuff so it's a little bit of everything rap right Chino's been doing rap style before um you know like all those songs like uh the heavy influence on rap. He said in one of the interviews, he's like, we grew up kind of near, you know, what you call the hood, and that we always heard cars just driving by, slumping, a lot of bass, a lot of drums, so that's where Deftones drums and guitar is really rhythm-based, uh, and really rhythm-oriented like hip-hop. And so, you know, I gave my dad that, put it in the thing, and I was like, hey, you know, send it to him, and then I, I don't know what the hell happened. I guess my dad's friend, who is... Chino's wife's brother. So Chino's brother-in-law is my dad's friend, I guess, right? I don't know if it's, it could be, it couldn't be. And then my dad pulls out his phone. Another time I, I see my dad and there's a picture of his friend and Chino. I've never seen his friend though. I don't know, I don't know who his friend is, my dad's friend. But there's a picture of Chino Moreno, my favorite singer of Deftones, and my dad's friend who is Chino's brother-in-law and they're both holding some drinks and I'm like wow like it kind of made me even more excited so I'm getting excited you know I'm hoping that uh, we can really get on some straight up creative artistic meshing man and you know I heard that Chino relocated because he, he's from Sacramento S Sacramento his wife is from San Jose okay I like to know what's going on in the rock community and uh so they lived out in LA for a while, but now I heard that they're in Bend, Oregon. Okay, so Bend, Oregon is about an eight hour drive. And I was like, oh man, what the hell's going on out there? Oh well, you know, California is a shithole anyways now. So basically, I was like, that sucks, you know, like, but if I ever got an email or a call or a Twitter message or a freaking Facebook message from Chino saying, hey kid, I know, you know, there's a family connection to you. My brother-in-law said that you're a really good kid, you're really creative, and I, I want to uh, work with you on a few songs, or one song at least, you know, just one song. Then that would be dope, right? And uh, that never happened, man, that never happened. And I was very bummed out, and then my grandma sold her house, and then all this other shit, so I kind of like lost... Um, focus on that but I, it never left my mind I was thinking about it every day so this is the thing you know what I mean one life one life to live I don't know if we have um, afterlife I don't know if we are born again or whatever but in this life so far one of my main goals man one of my goals other than my family okay other than my son and my girlfriend and my son is the music okay and I want to make just one song one song with Gino Moreno that's my goal, man. Like, if he's in Oregon, Bend, Oregon, I will fucking go up there, man. I don't care. I'll, I'll spend some good money. You know, I just really want to, I want that opportunity. And the only way to do that is to prove and show him 
and say, look, this is what I want to do. This is my idea. What do you think? And he can just be like, man, this kid sucks. Or I don't do that type of stuff. Or, uh, or he might be like, you know what? I've been looking for someone like you to, to kind of mentor. Or I've been looking for someone like you to produce your, your stuff, your music. And, uh, you know, one of the Scala band members is in Bend, Oregon. That's fucking crazy. I don't know if Chino is still out in Bend, Oregon or not, but one of the my the band members in Scala, the band that I'm in, I'm a drummer, he's up in or Bend, Oregon. That's where he lives now. And he said, hey, you know, you guys come up and chill. And I'm like, whoa, this is fucking crazy. This is crazy because it kind of, it's kind of like adding up. It's all adding up now. I'm just like, wow. That means that I'm one step closer, literally like closer to my goal. I already got close to it when I got to jam with him. And I hope he remembers that because we it was like a good two minute little jam session. For me, for me, it was it was crazy, it was deep. But for Chino, he's a really humble guy. He talks to a lot of people that has fans. So I don't know if he would be like, Oh, I don't remember this kid or if he would be like, Hey, you know what? I do remember that kid because he came up to me, he had a song that he wrote for me to sing on, and he sang on it. So, you know, music is like, I'll fucking die for it, man. I'll pull my heart out, and I'll fucking like, hand it to someone and say, this is all my music right here, man. Just take it, listen to it. Um, yeah, man, I swear. I swear to God. Like, So, one member of, of Scala, the band I'm in, is in Bend, Oregon now, living up there. And then another one is thinking of relocating up there too because the Bay Area is there's so much traffic and so much it's just getting really crazy and it's good to get a, a nice clear head out there, right? And you know, I was just telling my girlfriend, I'm gonna have to be going up there on business trips, right? But what I really mean is I'm gonna go up there, we're gonna rehearse, we're gonna practice, we have a place to practice our songs, our music, rehearse and come up with new songs and then when we record either we could record out there or we record back here in the bay area and she was just like wow that's that's really cool you know it's and i said fuck but in my mind i didn't tell her okay i said i'm closer to that goal and i really hope chino opens up his his mind to that you know what i mean because you know i play music from the heart I've been listening to Deftones for a long, long time. I've seen you guys, I've seen Deftones like four or five, three or four times, I think. But that's just one of the things that I really, really want to do, you know, in this life before it's too late, is just to make one song or an EP, like a three song EP with Chino. And I know he's a busy, busy, busy guy. He's a father, he's got a wife. I'm a father too. That'll be awesome. That's one of one of the things I, I really want to do in this life man so if anybody likes this or has a connection to Chino or likes this story or whatever just let me know that uh, what you think and all that stuff I just want to say that that's one of my main my main passions right there my goal is to meet Chino again have a sit down exchange ideas and not get to just let it kind of flow that's what we do as a band, Scala, that's what I do as a hip-hop artist, that's what I do on my side project stuff is we just, the vibes, man, it's just all off chilling, sitting down, one place, one person's playing one thing, I'll be on the drums, I'll start playing something else, someone starts singing, and it's, uh, same with the hip-hop, the beats, I'll just start playing something on piano, I'll be like, ooh, shit, that's nice, record that, start adding drums. You know what I mean? That's the best thing. I don't have any preconceived notions of anything right now. It's all just when we meet, the surroundings, the conversations, the vibes, that's the music that's gonna come out. And that's why I think it'll be a good song or a good EP because it's all about the energies, man. It's all about the vibes. So Chino, Chino Moreno, Demise, man. Let's work on one song or two or three, make a little EP and or if you want to mentor me, if you want to, if you want to give me some advice, or the Scala, the band Scala that I'm in, if you want to give us advice, we're gonna be going to Bend, Oregon, soon. You know what I mean? To visit one of the guys, or maybe even two now, are living out there, and 
yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. One love, Demise Music and Entertainment.